Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tire TV Studio. I know one question has been eating you. How are tyres made? Are they found in a cabbage patch? Does the stork bring them in? No, would you believe? Since Tire TV is so very generous, we're prepared to fill you in. We have sent a special envoy, Rob Burr, to the largest manufacturer in the world. Rob, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Can you tell us where you are right now? Well, I'm on the edge of the test track, where they test the newcomers, and I can tell you that it's tough going. Handling, grip, braking, everything's checked down to the slightest detail, including the noise level. Obviously, these tests are the last stage in the design validation process. It all starts in the top secret research labs. Follow me. It's here in this studious atmosphere that all new tyres take shape. The design phase takes several years, but you've got to admit that it's a particularly complex subject. More than 200 materials and 30 semi-finished products go into one single tyre, enough to exhaust the brain power of even the most powerful of computers. Then all of the components have to be assembled. Let's see how. The machine you can see behind me is called a drum. Different layers are applied to the drum, starting with the inside of the tyre. Some layers are reinforced with metallic bracing plies. Two unstretchable metal hoops are placed on each side. Then the drum inflates and you can already start to see the tyre take shape. Other components are added and then, just like a cake, the tyre is placed in an oven. The tyres are cooked here, in these enormous ovens. You might be wondering why they have to be cooked. Well, if left raw, the rubber is soft and sticky. It has to be cooked so that it becomes firm and elastic. This is what's called vulcanisation. At the same time, the inside of the oven acts as a mould which creates the tread pattern of the tyre. Cook for 15 minutes at an oven temperature of between 100 to 150 degrees to taste. Remove from mould and serve. Thanks for clearing that up, Rob. Now that we know everything there is to know about our origins, there's nothing left to say but goodbye and safe driving. Michelin, a better way forward.